Hi, Canyon ISD family. Uh, glad to be with you again today, April the 1st. Uh, our meal count today, 2,273. So again, helping more and more families. That's a new record for us at Canyon ISD. And uh, we're learning so much through this process. We've extended technology uh, to the homes, away from the schools and uh, to the homes. And, and with that, we have a technology update uh, that we're gonna be sharing with you today. Uh, my guest uh, on our video is uh, Michael Keo, our Chief Technology Officer. So please welcome Michael and he'll come and uh, share some updates. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Fushi. Uh, today we're gonna talk about technology on our campuses. First, we'll talk about wireless access points and then online conferencing in the district. So regarding wireless, we've extended our wireless network to four of our campus parking lots. And so I'm going to show you that in just a second, but we also are going to extend it to two additional ones later this week. So we'll identify that on our website and I'll show you that at the end of this slide. Our first campus is Westover Park Junior High and we're going to be covering the west parking lot. You'll see that in yellow right there. And while the access point does cover the entire parking lot, you're going to be best served if you're closest to the building. So um, Try to get as close as you can, and then uh, you'll connect with our Canyon ISD student accounts, or if you're a staff member, a Canyon ISD staff member account. The public does not, is not allowed to access our wireless on our network. We'll, we'll give clear information on our website if you, in case you have any problems, and of course you can use our online chat to help you if you're having problems in that process too. The next campus is going to be Randall High School. So that brand new uh, west parking lot is where we have coverage. And again, while that whole parking lot is covered, you want to be as close to the building as possible. And you'll notice the access point is in the top left. If you're over here, you're not going to get as good of a signal as if you're right here. But the whole parking lot is covered in case that's needed. The next campus is Canyon Junior High. So that's going to be that uh, north parking lot right there. And you'll notice the band hall right here is going to be where our access point is sitting. So you can get the whole parking lot, but again, I would stay closer to that band hall to make sure you get the best signal. The last of the four campuses is Midway Alternative High School. And it's just that main parking lot right in front of the building. So anywhere you sit in that parking lot, you should get a great signal. Now our website is hotspot.cisd.us. And if you go there, you're going to click on that internet button right up that, on that screen there. Once you get there, you're going to scroll down and you're going to see campus access. And this is going to be updated. In fact, it's going to actually be updated again today. But we'll identify the new campuses and how you get on these, these Wi-Fi access points in case you're having trouble. Additionally, WT has partnered with us to create their Wi-Fi drive-in. So you can connect using the WT Connect access point at three locations. First United Bank Center, the north parking lot, Harrington Academic Hall in Amarillo, the main parking lot, Mary Moody North Hall in Canyon, and that's going to be the west parking lot. So feel free to access those locations courtesy of WT. Now talking about Zoom, um, we've been using Zoom in Canyon ISD uh, for a little bit, but we've identified some serious concerns with that product. We, we found that with Google Meet, we can have more secure access, plus our students already have an account that we can control at, a, at an administrative level. We've decided to block Zoom as a district. So we want everybody using Google Meet as our structured platform for education. This is gonna start this coming Monday. If you're already using it, you can go ahead and use it for the rest of the week. It's gonna be open and available because we don't want you to have to restructure. But coming Monday, we need you to transition off and start using Google Meet. Uh, again, there's some serious concerns that we have as a district using Zoom. So we just want to protect our kids, and that's the whole reason why we decided to move to Google Meet, because it's something that we know that we can protect, and we have some protocols in place. So we will share some more protocols with you, and I believe if you're a staff member, you may have already received some protocols from Chris Norton. If not, you will receive those again. And that's the end of this uh, presentation. If you have any questions whatsoever, uh, make sure to jump on our chat or call our district. And then, of course, we have those email addresses that we have listed on our website now that you can, uh, you can go to and communicate with our staff. Thank you so much.